So, um, what is a jewel ringer? A lot of people are wondering what a jewel ringer is. A jewel ringer is basically a transformer. Um, if I was to take off this layer of windings, it kind of looked like a Tesla coil. It takes voltage and steps it up. So you'll take this uh, 12 volt supply and step it up to 100 volts, 200 volts, depending on how you do your winding ratio. The circuit is at laserhacker.com. It's a very simple device. Um, I've got this connected to this capacitor uh, boost pack. And because of that, I can uh, disconnect it from the battery and it'll run on uh, just on the capacitors themselves. And uh, that's kind of neat because capacitors charge so quickly. So, you know, we can run it on the capacitors and reconnect and just charge the circuit right back up. Ultimately, I want to uh, put a jewel ringer in the uh, Solon 1 and I want to have the best I can possibly get in there. And this is really close to uh, perfection as far as the best uh, super jewel ringer circuit I've come up with to date. I'm pulling uh, 20 watts here and lighting all of these lights. Now, a single light connected up to this kilowatt meter here and this is connected to the grid power. One of these lights pulls 11, no, 12 watts. So I'm pulling 12 watts here, and uh, connected to the super uh, jewel ringer circuit, I'm pulling 20 for all of them uh, together. And there seems to be some really neat uh, interaction here with the uh, mini boost pack and the super jewel ringer circuit. The mini boost pack um, continues to deliver a lot of amperage at low voltages. And the Super Jewel Ringer circuit has a really wide uh, operating range as far as voltage goes. It'll operate from anywhere around 5 volts on up. I Man, I've run these up to 70 volts or so. So with that large range, it, it really fits nicely with the boost pack uh, technology. Whereas a regular inverter system would actually turn off at, say, 10 volts and also turn off for protection at 15 volts. This can have a really wide range. Um, I am excited about capacitor technology. Um, I do research the graphene uh, or nano supercapacitors. Um, I think we're right on the threshold of a major change uh, in supercapacitor technology. There's even um, lithium ion supercapacitors, etc. So, with that change on the horizon, I really want to keep abreast of the uh, latest research in capacitors because I really think that bringing them together into circuits like this will be really exciting in the uh, future and we'll get a lot more uh, capacity. So let me uh, just disconnect from the battery. So we're disconnected from the battery here. We're running on the mini boost pack. And what I want to do is connect up one of these light bulbs and show you the circuit up close. So, we'll connect one light bulb here. Let me come around to this side. So, what I've got here, um, I'm, let me get this so you can see it. You can see down the uh, core here, I've got a bunch of ferrite stacked. And that's what makes up the core. And uh, they're stacked along here. Then I've got, uh, directly on top of the ferrites, I've got one layer. And let me uh, open this up here so you can see. Come on, camera focus. There we go. I've got one layer. Um, of 18 gauge wire completely across uh, the surface of that wound top to bottom. Then I came over that with the uh, two wires, the red and the green, wound them up and uh, that gave me a few different options. I could connect red to red um, and that has a higher amp draw or I could connect red and then basically cross the green to the red and uh, get double the amount of windings on my primary, so. Um, okay, so what I wanna do, we know that the LEDs pull 12 watts, because we tested that earlier with the grid. I'm gonna go ahead and just go over the wattage uh, that these pull, and as I add them to the circuit. So this one right here is hovering between seven to eight watts. For one, we know they pull 12 on the grid. Let me add uh, some more in line here, and we'll just see what the uh, wattage does as we add bulbs. So we're now at two bulbs, we're pulling eight watts. Uh, let's go ahead and add another. That brings us up to 11. It's kind of interesting the way the uh, wattage changes as we uh, go along here. So we're at 14, uh, 15, uh, 16, And that brought us up to 17 to 18, it looks like. And that is now still at 18. 
uh, 19 and 20. So that's the 20 watts, and that's kind of the way the, the uh, wattage pull changes as we uh, stack up the circuit. Okay, so for the remainder of this video, I'm just going to let this circuit run down on the mini boost pack. And uh, it's really exciting times, folks. It wasn't that long ago that to run this amount of uh, lights on six uh, little capacitors this side, size would have been unheard of. So times are changing. Uh, nanotechnology is coming out into capacitors. It's going to completely revolutionize capacitors. Um, but I'm just so excited to be researching these things. Let's all keep experimenting. Let's keep sharing uh, what we find. And uh, the future looks bright. So I'll let this run down for the rest of the video. And uh, we'll talk later.